kids are just happy the work is over. It was like so crazy. Yeah, she is. Look at her. But I'm really happy about the new one. It makes it so much easier to walk and not have to run. Aww, look how cute she is. And what happened? If y'all were wondering, this is me. Yes, little 7th grade 12-year-old Zoe being interviewed at her middle school. Perks to having your cousin as the principal, right? That voice, though, yikes. What a change. Now, why did I decide to show that video? That was the moment that I realized I loved being on TV and filming. I didn't do very much after that until my senior year of high school when I had the opportunity to be a part of our experimental broadcasting journalism class. For this class, we did literally everything ourselves. From coming up with a script, to reporting and filming our own campus, to anchoring and even editing and producing our own shows of Gator Nation News. Though we were on a strict day-to-day -day schedule and me missing out of guard practice and staying hours after school, we had a lot of fun and came up with some crazy ideas. From the office theme, I'm in itinerary for everything we're gonna do today. To us putting in bloopers and just messing around. We'll be right back after these messages. And even to adding in our crew's baby pictures and senior pictures that made me upset because the music wasn't in. It was really an amazing time to learn something new, do something that I really enjoyed, finally for the first time in my school career, and spend time with one of my best friends in our last semester together ever. Okay, I'm done. See you. Peace out. Now, cut to college, Zoe. What? Yes. Hi. I began making little video journals about my college life from my freshman year. They didn't last long. Um, I was always a communications major. I knew right from the beginning I was wanting to go into filming. And then that became a reality in college. Now, let's skip ahead to my sophomore year. I took a video productions class with Miss Melody Gilbert, who is my teacher right now. Four were accepted to be displayed in the Orville Hanchi Gallery. Through that, I learned how to make videos, do reports, and have fun. However, after midterms and after spring break, the coronavirus became a worldwide pandemic that devastated the U.S. We never left spring break. We still had classes to complete and videos to make. I stayed with my aunt and uncle at their condo in Orange Beach, Alabama, and made my videos and classwork there. I didn't feel as though I was in a pandemic, and I got to enjoy life. I did hit difficult times and my anxiety skyrocketed, but in the end, it was not a bad experience. I then went into my next school year in my online class of Communications 4420, or Advanced Video Journalism. Now, because of the coronavirus, all of our classes were online, can't really do much, a lot of the events were canceled, but it all worked out in the end. In this class, I learned that even in difficult times, you can always find a story. I learned how to do cool stand-ups and show some of my talents, and I got to finally do a show with my class in our campus's news studio, Anchoring. Welcome to News From Our Rooms. Today we have a the hardest part of the semester campus. was trying to come up with a new video idea for my beat of campus Garden, art. Using my own spirit Garden. group, the Demon Heat Color Garden. Guard, Garden. and driving Garden. around Garden. Natchitoches Garden. for ideas Garden. gave me a better understanding Garden. on how news reporting works, Garden. having to travel to different areas to film and get those connections. Which Let's brings me to today. Overall, with my future dream goal of traveling the world and filming documentaries, I am very excited to take the next steps after graduation and work my way up to where I want to be. And I all had to start somewhere. For me, it was my seventh grade, 12 year old news interview. <laughs>